welcome back to a new video in today's video we're going to be doing more gel polish nails ha 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 you never guess i am using madame glam's gel polish and a lot of the gel paints today you can get 30 percent off using my code natmug30 um we're gonna start what was that 30 i don't know we're gonna start by applying two coats of rosy nude to our nails i'm just doing it on one but I do do it on all four of the nails in the end. Um, I just wanted to show you this design because although it looks really difficult, it's actually pretty easy. And I did see someone do it on Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh, that's really cool. And then I also saw someone do a YouTube video of it. Melissa Roja. I can't roll my ass. Um, she done it on a video and I was like, darn it. She beat me to it. But I still wanted to do it because I really liked it. Um, although I say she beat me to it. I'm sure lots of people have done it um, already. But yeah anyway huh. um i did see it on instagram before i saw it on her channel but i will try and link the person here yes that's who i saw it from right um we try to do squares but we want them diagonally diagonally and they kind of end up looking a bit like diamonds if they do don't worry about it because it kind of can still work out it just looks a little bit more overly ovaled sort of um but what you want to do is once you've got your squares you're gonna just make the lines of the squares a little bit fatter so you're gonna make like little di not diamonds they are like canoe shapes navette shapes if you're into crystals so can you see we're just doing like curved lines just to fatten out those lines and then fill them in this is the blue gel paint from madame glam i went to put it in my lamp and then after like a minute of curing, I took it out because I was like, hang on, I want to make that one a little bit fatter because it looked a little bit too thin. So by the time I'd done that, it, it had obviously cured it slightly. So it does look like it wrinkled a bit, but that was all my fault. That's nothing to do with the gel paint. That was all my fault. Um, but you'll see, you might see what I mean in a minute. I might not have even had to have said anything, but I don't want you guys to think that I'd cured it and it had wrinkled because i'd accidentally put it in so the light hit the surface and obviously where the surf can is it see you can't even see it yet but anyway look we didn't do the fat lines all the way around and i can kind of see can you see look it looks like it's wrinkled ever so slightly um silver chrome gel paint i have never used this i forgot that i had it what we're going to do is we're going to outline all of the little i kind of want to call them petals but they're not i don't know what they are but i love this design because it looks like you've got like four petals coming out of the center or you've got like a round ball with it almost right makes a circle shape depending on how you're looking at it i just thought it was really i liked it i don't know it kind of also reminded me a little bit of like not not mosaic tiles but tiles like a tile design in fact i might even call it a tile design because i don't know what to call these so i might do that but I wanted to make them a little bit Christmassy. So this one, I thought, right, we're going to start off. We'll, we'll keep it really simple to start with. Um, I'm just going to finish. I did start to put the silver on and I didn't realise that I hadn't hit record. So, yeah, we're just going to finish up doing the rest. I must use the silver on something else because it's really cool. It actually won an award. This silver chrome paint and their velvet matte top coat won an award. If you go and look on their Instagram page, you'll see amazing i'm not surprised though um jotting tool we're going to use the white gel paint inside each of the circles like that and we're going to do some like what do you call them like star snow snow star i don't know not stars but like look i'm going to go up down left right and also diagonally and I don't know if they're stars or if they're snow, kind of snowflakes. I do do stars on another nail that definitely look like stars. I'm just going to do this on all of the others and then I will pop it into the lamp for 60 seconds because it's gel paint. And that's kind of that one. That was as wintry as that one got. And for you shiny peeps today, I am gonna sh I'm going to shiny all of these. I'm going to top coat all of these with Madame Glam's No Wipe Top Coat. So today we're going shiny. I looked through my Instagram account and I hadn't realised just how much I use the matte, the matte top coat. 
so definitely today is a shiny day so that's that one done i think that's quite cool and do you know what it looks really hard but actually it's quite easy so i've done the same with the red but on the red i didn't show you me doing all of it again because although i didn't show you me doing all of the blue but this it's the same technique obviously only this one we're going to go around the outside with the gold the gold is so nice oh. I do do a purple one off camera that I add some holly on and I use the silver, not the silver chrome, just the silver gel paint and that looks equally nice. You'll see that at the end. Oh, I can't, I tell you, I just can't. I love it. I just love it. Um, yeah, so just go around the edges. I'm going to skip forward a little bit, but once I've done all of that, it will look something like this. And then it will go in the lamp the sheen or the shimmer on the gold and the silver gel paint is just gorgeous it's just like really catches the light so beautifully okay so i'm gonna do a green one there we go and this one i've done white a white outside i'm also gonna do it yeah i told you purple or silver right back to this one this one we're gonna take the white gel paint again and we're gonna do some stars and some snow dots stars and snow dots so the stars are going to go down the center so again the flicks that we're going to do are a lot bigger on these than the little kind of first snow type flicks we done i don't know what they are so a long flick flick so long it comes off the end and a flick down and then the flicks on the left and the right aren't going to be as long as the flicks on the top and the bottom it's very technical stuff you know come to my channel it's all technical it's not really <laughs> it's not at all is it see look this is definitely more starry i can't see now there we go and then for the like the other ones i'm going to take the dotting tool again and just add some like dot where have i gone there we go just add some dots in here in these ones just to fill them out can you see have i gone off the screen at one point i go off the screen a little bit it's really annoying that i do that why do i do it really gets on my boobies there we go look snowflakes no snow Ta -da! that's definitely looking more wintry this one i decided to add some kind of like winter foliage i don't even know what that is that yeah so that is kind of the right word more berries so these th this is the brown gel paint these are going to be like little sticks or twigs the twigs that hold the berries so i'm going to cure that before i go any further and then i'm going to use the gold and the red to add on the berries so on each one i i don't know why i could have just done the same color all at the same time and then gone on to the gold but i kind of do it I don't know but we're going to add some red dots and some gold dots to each of the stems i done the actual second color of dots afterwards so you don't see me doing that um i just thought it needed a little bit more and the gold i don't know i like the gold the gold's lovely and it just sort of like puffed out the the berries like can you hear that they're building more outside they're building more <sighs> it's gonna be noise noisy noisy there we go once we're done again that's going to go in the lamp for 60 seconds there we go it's kind of a little bit boring but it looks sort of christmasy i suppose and um, so we're going to top coat these i will show you the purple one that i do off camera because it's kind of the same but i've just used holly but you get the idea i thought it was a really cute design you can do it as an accent now if you like so the top coat gets 30 seconds in the led lamp and then look that's the uh purple one check out in a minute check out in the look can you just oh hang on look when it look oh look at the gold and the silver oh, i just love it anyway hope you like this video if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing it is completely free and you can always change your mind later though i'd rather you stayed god bless love you all and i will see you in the next one love you bye